at well it's probably actually afternoon but only just um it's the crafty nana here um yesterday i finished my shikada bug and um i then continued <coughs> with the little pieces that i had marbled and uh sketched out ready the next couple of things that I want to do. So this is the one I'm going to do next. This, I I don't know if you can see the pencil, it might be too faint, but um, this one's going to be a moth. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this. I've had to wait for my cat to vacate my desk. And I've also drawn out a long tentacled beetle on this one. Um, I love looking at beetles and things. I think that some of the patterns and colours are absolutely fabulous. So I have an entire um, Pinterest board full of bugs and bees and butterflies. And uh, so plenty of inspiration there. I still have another three pieces of the marbling that I did. Two, thi two quite thin ones. This one's actually quite plain, but sometimes that's all you need. So... Um, hopefully I'll get all of them done uh, not today though <laughs> let's get the next one started anyway so the moth that I was planning to do I have here on my Pinterest you can see I've already got some lovely bug pictures that I want to use at some point another shikada that's rather a lovely bug I might even yeah, I might that might be the one I'm planning to do next um, and then here's my moth this is the moth I'm planning to do I think the colors are just divine and I think they also pick up the same colors palette that I used on the shikada so that you've got those same gorgeous shades so let's go for it um, here's our background here's our moth um, looking at that now, I see this is less. Again, I'm going to start off with a base of acrylic. Yeah, and then we're getting to a solid colour here. Is that the right colour? Do we want it bluer? Or do we like it quite green? Oh, let's look at it, it's quite green. Uh, pull the paint the way that it goes on the wing. So in this case, you need to make sure the brush strokes go this way because your eye reads brush strokes. If you don't do the brush strokes right, your eye tells you. You can't go the opposite direction to the to what's actually happening um, now obviously above the bluey green here it actually turns to a sort of peachy shade so I don't want to put of the too much of the blue green here because that will be really difficult to cover over um, with peach uh, peach won't like it love the fluffiness of this little moth his whole body is like a little fluffy bear. Really, really cute. I was so, I, I mean, I just picked this one because it did it for me in so many different ways. It's just, I love the mixture, the colours, the outrageous orange and red with the turquoise and duck egg blue and peach all in the same creature. Stunning. Nature, just unendingly amazing. So breathtaking. So for this next part, I think I need watercolour pencil. Now, this is one of the reasons it is very difficult when my cat decides that she needs to be on my desk because I actually need quite a lot of space. When you're using mixed media and you've got all sorts of different things out all at once and you're trying to use all of them, um, having a cat in the middle of the desk just doesn't work. 